Okay, this final section of Delta Math really gets into you understanding what these logarithmic and exponential graphs look like. The, and you're going to fill in each of these drop boxes. And the key to these problems is taking it very slowly, a piece at a time. So it says, what features of the function are graphed below? First thing is it wants to know if it's exponential or log. Clearly, it has the word log in it, so it's a logarithmic function. Now, since it's a logarithmic function, logarithmic functions will always have vertical asymptotes. So if it's a logarithmic function, they will have a vertical asymptote. The exponentials will have a horizontal. And since it's a vertical asymptote, a vertical asymptote is always x equals. And then we pick the value where it looks like that graph is touching but not crossing. So if you look, this steep part of the graph is right there at x equals negative 4. So that is going to be the equation of the asymptote. So just take it very slow, one at a time. Now the range. The range of this function, since it does not have any limits, any asymptote, it's going to be all real numbers. So the range is going to be all real numbers, which is negative infinity to positive infinity. If you start looking at those choices and guessing, it actually confuses you. So I recommend that you think of the answer before you even look at the choice. So the answer of all real numbers from our range or y value is that. And now this function, and now the next thing is it's going to want to know if it's increasing or decreasing. So in this case, the function is decreasing because as I trace it from left to right, it goes down the whole time. So it is decreasing on its domain of, and I have to tell what the domain of this function is. Now the domain is my x values. My x values are restricted. They start at negative 4 on this side and then they go to infinity. So the x values start at negative 4 and keep going to infinity. So the domain needs to be negative 4 to infinity. And then the and then the last thing it talks about is end behavior. End behavior is just talking about what the x values do on the two sides of the graph. We've talked about that before with polynomials. So the end behavior as negative, in, um, you have two choices here. One says on the left side, does it approach negative infinity or does it approach negative four? Well, the truth is it never makes it to negative infinity because if I trace along, it gets stuck at that vertical asymptote at negative four. So the best description of what it does on the left side is goes to negative four and it goes up toward infinity because you can see as it goes to negative four, it's going up toward infinity. Now on the other side, on the right side, there is no limit on my domain. So my domain is going to be positive infinity and then I can see that the graph is going down. So it's going toward y equals negative infinity or y is going toward negative infinity. The one other thing you can do is if you do these correctly, you can check and make sure that the negative four of your domain describes what it does on the left and the infinity of your domain should describe the x value on the right. So your in behavior, the description of x on the left side and the right side should match your domain on each of these problems. We'll go ahead and try one more example. Okay, first, this function is exponential because it does not have a log, it has a variable in the exponent. Exponential functions always have a horizontal asymptote. And in this case, I can see this horizontal asymptote going along about right there, this time at y equals negative four. And of course, horizontal asymptotes are always y equals. In this case, it is a negative four. Now my range in this case is restricted because uh, there is a horizontal asymptote. So the range starts at negative four and goes to infinity. So that is gonna be my range. And then as I trace this function going from left to right, I notice it is always increasing. So this function is increasing on its domain of, and there are no restrictions of the domain. The domain starts over here, it keeps going, it kind of levels off, but if we kept going, you could, uh, it would continue to go and I'd eventually be off the screen, but it's always increasing. There is no asymptote, so it always increases. So there is my domain. Now the end behavior on the left side, on the left side, X is going to negative infinity and the horizontal asymptote makes it get stuck at negative four. On the other side, it's going to positive infinity, and y is also going to positive infinity. Because you can see on the um, one side, it gets stuck at negative four. On the other side, it keeps going.